Hey what's up hello welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma. I thought today would be a good day to kind of show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of what goes on because that like you know you see on Instagram and stuff but I want to make this a bit more like in depth. So yesterday or last night was the restock of my blue light glasses so that went well there's currently two of the pink ones left which I actually haven't checked to see if they've sold yet. They hadn't sold an hour ago, so I assume they're still there. If you missed out on that, there is another 70 coming in around a month's time, so hold your horses and you'll be able to get your hands on those. Today is obviously a university day. This is also the first day that Hamilton's been like in level one for however many weeks it's been, I don't really know. To be honest, level two didn't really change much for me, but since COVID's still a thing, we're still semi-online with our classes. So I have one class today, um, which is in person, which is from 12 to 1, which is an accounting tutorial. And I have homework I have to do for that, which I didn't do yesterday. So it's currently quarter past nine, so I have like an hour and two hours and a bit to do that. And I don't really know what I'm doing, so I probably should crack on with that. I've been to the gym, had breakfast, showered, done like sort of fun stuff. But yeah, the plan for today, there isn't really one. There's a lot of things I have to do today, but I have no schedule as such, apart from that class from 12 to 1. But it, I do have to go pick up the courier bags, which should be getting delivered today for the packages to send off. I'm looking over here right now, I just can't show you because of addresses and stuff. There's like a stack of um, courier labels and stuff that are ready to be put onto bags and stuff in a box of blue light glasses. So there's a couple of girls that live like nearby the university that I'm dropping off their glasses. I have to go to the supermarket. I really just get myself together is what I have to do today. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit stressed out, but I'm doing okay. It's Tuesday today, so on Thursday, I'm actually, well, I decided last night I'm going home on Thursday because I haven't been home since before the whole second wave of COVID. So I haven't been home in eight weeks, I think, which is insane because I, yeah, I'm a little homebody. So I'm very excited to like go home, sleep in my own bed, see my nana, just be at home. It's going to be great. So I need to kind of get my work done before then. So I've got a few lectures and things I have to watch today. But this morning, first step, I, this is not a morning routine video, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway. You guys, if you've been around here for a while, know, will know that I'm a Christian. And I... This come, they came to a lot of surprise for a lot of people. But I've really only started going to church properly this year, like for myself. Um... Like previously I've been with my family and stuff but I actually made the decision this year to go like take myself along and it's changed my life um, but I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about the fact that I started reading the Bible which surprised a lot of people because they say how I've been a Christian my whole life but um, I've only started reading my Bible in the last like three or four weeks and this is a Bible that I got when I was like 10 years old but I've started reading the book of Matthew and I think I'm due to finish the book of Matthew tonight. I read like a chapter in the morning and a chapter at night but yeah I'm loving it and this is kind of like my way like as, you, as I said before my mind is literally racing a million miles right now I've got so much stuff to do I just find sitting down and just reading this really helps me just like de-stress and just like chill out so I'm gonna do that now and then crack on with my accounting homework but before I do that I'm gonna show you an outfit of the day this is 100% gonna change before I go out in public but at the moment while I'm in my room for the next couple of hours I want to feel cute so this is what I'm wearing so full fit this is the lighting is horrible I'm so sorry this is literally the only bit of sunlight I get in my room all day so that's fun full fit from Princess Polly not sponsor obviously but they did give me the clothes just this top and the skirt which is like midi length you can't really tell because life of a university student <laughs> But we got there in the end. I'm just about to email in my homework to my tutor so that he can mark it on whatever. Pretty sure I did the whole thing wrong, but that's okay because it's marked on participation and not performance. But I'm just emailing company because I'm running a giveaway on Sunday. So you guys watching this on Saturday are gonna have a heads up about this. I can't say what the company is, but I'm just sorting out like the finer details of the giveaway, like what I'm gonna post and like what the T's and C's are and stuff. So very excited about that and I think you guys will be very excited about it as well once it comes live. It's currently half past 10 so I have been an hour and a bit until I have to go to class. Do I sit down and watch a week's worth of lectures, which I probably should do, or do I print out my labels for the rest of the packages? I'm thinking I might watch my lectures because that's what's stressing me out more. So I'm going to do that, email this company, email my homework, and then sit down and do a week's worth of lectures for my integrated thinking paper. Lots of fun stuff. <laughs> It 
it is 10 minutes to 12 so I'm gonna head off to my class now so I have enough time to walk there because I mean the sooner I get there the sooner I can leave and come back and do productive things so I'm gonna do that come back and I'll grab lunch on my back like when I'm walking through so I'll see you guys when I get back because I'm not taking my camera but I'll get some clips on my phone let's go I am back from class and I forgot I was vlogging but I have come back, had lunch, it was steak and cheese pie, it was really good. That's my manager. <laughs> I sat in my tutorial making the shipping labels for the orders that came through after like I finished doing them last night so that was a really productive tutorial. So I have to print out all those labels now, package up the international ones because the international bags are like I have to use bigger bags because the like size of the label is like an A5 piece of paper so I need to make I use bags that are that size. So that's happening. I need to print out the domestic ones and I'm still waiting. I just sent a very strongly worded email to my supplier for my bags. Basically just saying, where where are they? So hopefully something comes out of that because I know it's not their problem because like once it leaves their, like once they dispatch it, it's not actually in their control. But they might have a bit more information on where it actually is. I need to write some of these little letters that I write to go on the orders and then I've got a lot of lectures and things to watch. It's going to be a very busy afternoon. Rachel goes to class in approximately five minutes. Right Rachel? Do you guys like Rachel's tights? I gave them to her. They're quite nice. I've got some lectures to watch, some assignments to do, some packages to pack, some glasses to deliver. Should I, oh, should I wait for you to go deliver them? I'll, I'll probably get back at like 3.50. I mean, you can go before, but like... I don't want to go by myself. I'm going to do the stuff. I can't really show you guys what I'm doing because it's like addresses and stuff. My phone is in Rachel's room. But she's going to class and I do not actually need this, but I probably should have it in case I get a phone call or anything. So I'm actually going to put this... Hang on, no one Snapchat at me. Hide my phone. I was gonna tell you something, but I can't tell you. I'm putting my phone up here so that I don't go on it. I just got an email from the like courier bag company, and I have a suspicion that maybe them saying it's been delivered. So I'm gonna open it. And I'm gonna get a reaction on camera because if it is, I'm gonna be stoked, and if not, I'm gonna be mildly annoyed. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Wow, okay, that's an amazing customer service. So I use these packages here from R3 Pack. They're compostable bags. Like, you know, I want to do my thing for the environment. I used to just use normal bags, but like, I just felt like bad to put much plastic into the like environment. So I get them from R3 Pack and they, they've just replied and they're so understanding. They've dispatched me another like a lot of, because you have to order them a lot of a hundred. So they've dispatched me another lot of a hundred, which I should get tomorrow. And then they're chasing it up with New Zealand Post. That is amazing. <laughs> Customer service, 10 out of 10. So that kind of semi solves that issue. The next stage of this is to print out the career labels. Obviously I can't show you that. So I'm just going to do that and I'll check in with you guys when I'm on to something else. It is 20 minutes to four. So Rachel should be back literally like any minute now. But I just checked the tracking and the curry bags have arrived. They're getting sent to Owen's place, so I have to drive over and grab those. But I'll wait till Rachel gets back. We can go for a little drive, but I assume I was dead sent me a message, but my phone's still like up here, so like, I don't know. Also, the curry bags I'm talking about are the ones that, the first ones that were sent that I'd emailed saying how they hadn't arrived. So um, I emailed the company to try to get them to stop them from sending the other lot that they were gonna send like complimentary. But they arrived at Owen's house today, so this is now the next day. So, um, great customer service, but now I feel like a really bad person. Yeah, I managed to watch five lectures, so I've literally been sitting here since she left at two o'clock, which is awesome. Um, the sun's coming out, this is so many good things happening right now. What have you vlogged today? My whole day. Your whole day? Rachel's back from class, guys, and she's not coming to drive with me because She's got other things she needs to be doing. So Morgan's coming with me. First stop is to drop off a package of some of the glasses to a girl before 4.30. And then I'm gonna head over to Owen's place to pick up the curry bags. This is what I'm gonna be packaging up tonight. So uh, that's fun. Currently stopped at some traffic lights. I dropped off one of the set of glasses, but the other one was kind of like a bit of a tangent. So I might leave that for tomorrow morning because I'm a bit of a time crunch to get to Owen's and back before the traffic gets bad. And it probably is too late. You'll notice Morgan is not on the car. 
I was trying to like FaceTime her and she wouldn't pick up and then Rachel tried to ring her and went straight to voicemail so I think her phone was flat and then as I was leaving I like drove past her so I don't know anyway she's not here shooting off to Owens grabbing their career bags and coming back all right this light's about to go green I'm just gonna put you guys here hello we have the goods I would put up my car tripod but I'm actually driving right now so that's kind of hard to do but I'm just gonna act like you guys are my friend and we're just driving together so picked up the parcels I should have had my camera like on me when I went to go get them because Owen's dad made this I think it was his dad maybe it was his mum I don't know made this sign that says like Emma Stevens warehousing logistics I don't know something <laughs> it was hilarious I was only get a photo of that when he gets home from work and I'll check in so you guys can see I can't remember the exact wording but I was like wow that is quality currently stuck in traffic channeling my inner Aucklander but this has absolutely nothing on Auckland traffic. See the difference between Auckland traffic and Hamilton traffic is that when you're in Hamilton traffic the traffic actually moves. In Auckland it doesn't do that. So that's um that's a feature that Auckland traffic has yet to unlock, the fact that it moves. Honestly I just am lonely in this traffic. I was listening to music but I'm not really, you've got to be in the mood to listen to music and I'm really just not. So not much I can do about that apart from talk to you guys. So people driving past probably think I'm on like a call with someone, like whatever. No, no, I'm I'm talking to myself. It's gonna be a very busy evening, heading back to uni, packaging up these things. The girls are gonna help me, I think, which is good. I actually thought that I messed up and sold like more than what I actually had, and I was about to like scream. So before I left, I laid them all out in my bed, like all of the orders, and made sure that I had the right quantity so I didn't, so otherwise I would have had to be emailing people and doing refunds and that would have been that would have been a whole different situation. But no, it was okay. I really wish I had my car tripod set up. Maybe I could set it up. The light's red. Oh no, the light's green. Never mind, we're off. Vroom! This is literally what it's like driving with me. See, the thing is on Instagram, I feel like it's this is such a tangent. I feel like on Instagram it's really hard to like share your personality because literally all it is is a photo and a caption. And I feel like my Instagram I don't, I don't know, you guys may agree or disagree with this. I feel like my Instagram is a very inaccurate representation of my personality. A lot of you guys probably don't even know my true personality, but trust me, I'm an absolute weirdo. Even Rachel will confirm that for me. I cannot put into words how excited I am to be going home in a couple of days. Just, I feel like it's like the refreshment that I require to ace this last quarter of the semester. I just feel like it's really what my soul needs my mind needs what my body needs it's gonna be fantastic okay now i'm stuck in more traffic but this is just for a roundabout so that is a-okay i could set up my tripod now there's gonna be some people watching this who are like regular viewers of mine that are gonna be like wow emma i didn't know you had a car tripod well same sis i sometimes forget no this ain't gonna work okay i'm gonna close this off now and i'm gonna talk to you guys when i get back oh my goodness that was quite the ordeal hope you guys like that little uh chat but it's now quarter past five and this is the size of the package we were all waiting on but you can see behind me all of the orders are ready to be put into bags unfortunately that ain't gonna do itself so <laughs> i'm gonna go pee and then get onto that <laughs> Market. And you know what guys, since you've been such a lovely audience today, I'm going to bring you along with me. Oh. <laughs> you've been well behaved. Your you've price? been very well behaved. Come to the supermarket with us. Congratulations. <laughs> since you haven't caught out of the video, I think you should comment <laughs> a trolley emoji. <laughs> trolley. Like a supermarket. You haven't caught out of the video oh yet. But it's not on the right yeah, angle. It's, it's fine. We can straighten it up later. Okay, you're on music. How, How can we straighten it up? Because in video, when I'm editing it, I'll just... Oh my god. <laughs> Look, there's my car. I parked that. I need to go on to... This is such an Emma Stevens song. Uh, oh. I would do that like you never heard. Who is Michael and why is he going to say? Handshakes in the hand. We just sang to that guy. <laughs> oh, bro. The city's gonna break my heart. Let's go. 
go. Currently, I have one thing that wasn't on my list. This is new, so we'll do a taste review when we get back. I thought you were I'm vlogging in private. Morgan's feet smell. They don't smell. I feel so offended. <laughs> I still love her. <laughs> no, you fart all the time. <laughs> <and> I, <laughs> I don't smell. I'm so sorry. Okay, maybe I'm sorry. Do they smell? No. My <laughs> shoes. It's these shoes. These shoes are wreck. You know what? Oh. We are so annoying. Whose room is this? In Lydia's room. I'm so sorry. This was released on Monday. Why do you have shoes outside, Morgan? <laughs> it's a long because story. they smell so She bad. told me that they smell. Do you want some chocolate? It's new. What is it? Berry forest. It's like black forest, but like Whitaker's. Does Whitaker's not have black forest? I think they do. This is like different. Do you want some? Rachel. In class presentation. Mmm. It's just like black forest. Mmm. Mm. Quite nice. Oh, mm. you're vlogging? Mmm. <laughs> Hi, Taya. <Chaya>. Hi. <laughs> She's coming. Quick, quick, quick. Did you, did you start it? Oh, oh, sorry. So, <laughs> if I wasn't about to vlog, then I wouldn't have noticed. Update this happen. box is full of all the packages ready to go to the post office tomorrow, and I'm stoked. What are we gonna Yay. do? What we well, do? we were gonna prank you. Hey guys, I want to watch Cars 2 right now. This is why you don't see any Miss Stevens vlogs. You have footage of me actually relaxing. Thanks, <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, you never relax. <laughs> Does Emma Stevens relax? <laughs> Not really, no. Okay, guys, closing up the vlog here. It's nearly 10 o'clock, but we are heading to sleep because I have to get up at 20 past 6 in the morning. And we don't. Gym, and they <laughs> don't, but I do, so I'm kicking them out of my room. Hey, lol. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this gives you a bit more of an insight into my day to day life. But apart from that, stay safe, stay well. Make someone kiss and we'll do that. Three, two, one. Make, Make someone fun. smile, and we'll see you in my next video. <laughs> it is oh my gosh, not focusing on how it is. How cute. I'm actually later. I don't know. Okay, let's go. Okay, we don't we're understand. Go. Obviously, we're not YouTubers. Also, don't understand. Don't. Why has he got a different number plate in the back of his car as the front? I don't think he does. No, he does. <gasps> Isn't that like illegal? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> Exposing him. Oh my gosh, I smell oh, like Emma Stevens. I smell like Emma Stevens. Hmm. Do you smell like Emma Stevens? Yeah. Now you do.